Okay, so this week for my blog, I wanted to talk about how thus far in the bluest eye, how um, beauty is sort of seen and portrayed to Claudia, Frida, and Bicola, and sort of the differences between how each of them views beauty. So Bicola, as we've discussed in class, sees beauty essentially as whiteness. Like it says that she prays her blue eyes and she wants light skin. She thinks that Geraldine's light skin is very pretty and it's implied that Maureen is seen as cute like she is to everyone else. And this all makes sense at least because all of the girls are constantly bombarded with this idea that white is pretty. Like how Mr. Henry always says hello to the girls and he says like Ginger Rogers or Greta Garbo and how they also talk about Shirley Temple and Hedy Lamar and Betty Grable and um, even the Mary Jane Candies. So it's always seen as white is something to be desired. And the difference, I think, between Bacola and Claudia and Frida is that Bicola, perhaps because of how much she suffers at the hands of other people, she really internalizes that much more than the other girls do. So, and she sees black and ugly as synonymous, but the other girls haven't quite gotten there yet. They see beauty and they understand that it's not what they are, but at the same time, they still don't, I think, quite connect it with whiteness as much as Bicola does. So one of the things that I couldn't help but wonder as we were reading about, about Bicola is if she perhaps sees beauty and white beauty as a way to maybe stop her own suffering. Like there's a part where she talks about how maybe if she had blue eyes or lighter skin where that um, her parents would be nicer to her. And she and the other girls see how everybody likes Maureen at school. So that's something that I think should be paid attention to throughout the rest of the book is whether or not Picola connects beauty and whiteness to safety. So earlier we were talking about how um, intersectionality can be seen as a road. And I think that for Picola especially, there is obviously the road of her being a woman and then there's the road of her being black. And from what I've come to understand is that she is willing to completely stand on the road of being a woman and all of the forced femininity and motherhood and every, not necessarily negative, but every ex expected aspect of being a woman so long as she can get off the road of being black. On the other hand, Claudia, as we saw earlier when she was talking about the baby dolls, she seems much less willing to just accept her role as a woman and what, what that means and how that is expected of her. Like how she says that she doesn't want the baby dolls because she doesn't want to be a mother and she doesn't understand why everyone keeps forcing that on her. But Claudia is much more okay and doesn't realize that there is anything wrong or negative about being black. On page 74, she is thinking about how she and Frida aren't guilty in their blackness quite yet. She says, what was the secret? What did we lack? Why was it important? And so what? Guileless and without vanity, we were still in love with ourselves then. We felt comfortable in our skins, enjoyed the news that our senses released to us, admired our dirt, cultivated our scars, and could not, pre could not comprehend this unworthiness. 
Jeal jealousy we understood and thought natural, a desire to have what someone else had, but envy was a strange new feeling for us. So overall, the idea of beauty and whiteness being equivalent to Piccola, but that conclusion not quite being reached yet by Frida and Claudia is something that I think we're going to have to look for and observe throughout the rest of the bluest eye.